Once again, we're down here, um, well, not once again, we're down here in Atlantic City, um, in Atlantic City, New Jersey, to immerse Aki Amasia, or Amasia, however he choose to uh, pronounce it or spell it. But he's, he is the strength of Yah. That will be his Hebrew name. Right. Um, the reason why we're here is to be immersed in the name of Yahushua. So uh, we will go down to the water and immerse you. And I will ask you three questions. If you believe that Yahshua is the son of Yah, or Yahushua was the son of Yah, uh, that he was sent to die for our sins, He's, he died, resurrected, and on the right hand of the Father. If you say yes to all three of them, I will immerse you in the name of Yahushua and welcome you to the family of Yah. Okay. The reason why we're doing this is we look at the book of Acts. Uh, it tells us that um, Philip was sent by Yah to a eunuch who happened to be reading the Old Testament, uh, the uh, scripture of Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah 53. And uh, Philip asked him how, uh, Philip asked him, do you know what you're reading? And he said, how would I know unless somebody teaches me? So he began, began to teach him. So um, then the uh, eunuch asked Philip, uh, well, who was it speaking about? Him or somebody else? And he said, he was speaking about the name of Yahshua, the person Yahshua. So he says, well, what must I do, you know, uh, to be a believer? And he says to, uh, if you believe in the name of Yahushua, you know, you shall be, you will, you can be immersed. So with that, uh, Aki Yada will read part of um, Acts 8 to explain in detail. Acts chapter 8, verse 27. And he rose and went and saw a man of Cush, a eunuch of great authority under Kenate, the sovereigns of the Cushites, who was in charge of all her treasury, and had come to Yerushalayim to worship, and was returning. And seeing, sitting in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the Ruach, or spirit, said, Philip, go near and join him in a chariot. And running up, Philip heard him reading the prophet Isaiah, and said, do you know what you are reading? And he said, how am I able, unless someone guides me? And he called Philip near to come up and sit with him. And a passage of the scripture which he was reading was this. He was led as a sheep to slaughter, and like a lamb solid before his sharer, so he opened not his mouth. In his humili humiliation, he was deprived of right ruling. And who shall declare this generation? Because his life was taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip, said, I ask you, about whom does the prophet say this? About himself? or about some other. And Philip opened his mouth and beginning and beginning at this scripture brought him the good news, Yehoshua. And as they were going on the way, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, water, what hinders me from being immersed? And Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, it is permitted. And he answered and said, I believe the son of Yah to be Yehoshua, the Messiah. And he, and he commanded the chariot to stand still, and both Philip and the eunuch went down in the water, and he immersed them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So with that being understood, that's what we'll do. We'll go down to the water. I'll ask you those questions, and we'll do the do. As you said, do the do. <laughs> Let us just have that prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Father, you ask in the name of your son. Yahushua, we come before you this day, Father Yah, thanking you for all that you've done, doing, and going to do for us, Father Yah. But more so, Father Yah, I thank you for allowing me the opportunity to bring in another sheep from the, to the fold, Father Yah, one of your chosen ones, one who you said will help redeem Israel back to you. Father Yah, before I present to you Aki Amazia, meaning you the strength of you, Father Yah. So I ask that, that you bless this. Uh, immerse him, Father Yah, and give him the strength that he needs to do your will, Father Yah. I ask all these things in the name of your son, Yahushua, we say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Torayah, Torayah, Amen. Amen.
bless you and guard you. May God's face shine upon you and give you the favor and the confidence of God will find you. Satan is mad, he's mad, he is really mad, Father God. So I ask that you please have your protection around this house, Father God, to protect him from the fiery darts of Satan who comes, who's looking to come and snatch him back into his fold. But Father God, we know that once you put somebody in your hand, there's no one that can take him out, Father God. We either leave freely or we're there for life, Father God. So I pray that you strengthen him, guard him, give him discernment more so now, Father God, than ever before that he would know how to walk in your ways, Father God. That's that you protect him, his hand, and his household, Father, and everything he puts in his hand to do. We ask all these things in the name of your son, Yahushua. Oh, Father, I just also want to thank you for the travel mercy down here and the travel mercy to get back to where we got to go. We ask all these things in the name of your son, Yahushua. Say hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks, so be it.